Hi guys, this is uh, just a little sewing chat, I guess. <laughs> uh, so I'm working on a, some little drunkard's path uh, pieces. And I've had these for hmm, close to 10 years. I had this fabric, I made a pattern for Aki Quilt and it was called um, Dogs Be Gone or something. I think the pattern is still up on their site. You're not gonna find it under my name because they don't put your name on your pattern when they put it on their website. So I have quite a few of them up there, but that was the one thing I didn't like about making patterns for Aki Quilt is because they don't acknowledge the people that you know, spend their time creating patterns for them. And so that's kind of sucky. They only acknowledge people that are really popular or really well done. Okay. I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> uh, so I, I had all these extra ones. I don't know why I cut a whole bunch of them and I saved them all these years. And, and I thought, well, I'll just make a little small quilt. So my plan is to make this little drunkard's path um, little quilt and I'm not going to make it very big and then I am going to put like a black and white checkered border around it I think because I saw somebody make a black and white checkered border and I thought that was really kind of cool it looks good from far away just having to cut that fabric so your checkers aren't all crazy I think that'll be the toughest part if I, if I can find some fabric, so I'll have to look around and we'll see. So I have a few minutes, been working on my quilt, and then I went to the uh, local guild meeting this morning, and it was for the big guild that's in our, I gotta put my glasses on so I can see why I'm talking to you. And uh, it was for the the big guild that was um, in, in my, the big city of my, where I live and I'm part of a smaller guild that's in one of the smaller cities which I like because there's not a lot of people and you can get to know people and that's my biggest problem is you know I just don't know people so I went to the big guild I hadn't been there in and um, a couple of years maybe a year and a half or so I don't know it's been a while so I re-signed up because I when I judged the the fair the lady said you need to come back to the guild so I thought well at least I know a couple of people my glasses are crooked huh look at on my face I think my ears are <laughs> lopsided anyway so I um uh, went back and I had fun today it was, it was nice I there was a couple of people from my other guild that were there and I uh, had a nice long top talk with them and it was a lot of fun. So it was a lot more fun to go when you actually know somebody <laughs> opposed to, you know, going over there and I'm kind of kind of a shy person. I think uh, making YouTube videos has helped me a lot because I, you know, have to edit the videos and stare at myself for a long time, <laughs> hear myself talk. And then after a while, I'm like, I'm just like everybody else, <laughs> you know, not as much of a dork as I actually think I am. <laughs> and so I think it has helped me quite a bit. Um, but, you know, I still have a hard time um, standing in front of a room full of women. So, but I'm getting better anyway. So I had a, a good time. It, it was fun. Um, I'll probably go again. They're supposed to have it in the park next week because they have it every week. So I don't know if I'll go to the next one. I got lots of stuff still to do for my uh, scavenger hunt that I got to do for the other guild. I got all the patterns in. I had to sort through those and put them together. And <laughs> it took me quite a while. And I think I have printed... 3D printed everything I need to print, except for what I'm putting in the uh, raffle basket. I'm still working on some of that. I'll show you the raffle price when I get it together. And then hopefully, oh, and I gotta laminate some stuff. 
uh, before next week. So, so I'm just taking some time to just sew and do nothing for a little bit. <laughs> Not think about it. So, uh, you're gonna see in one of my Long Arm Tuesday <laughs> videos. I'm filming another one. I have filmed quite a few of them, but I just have had no time to edit them, and they just take so dang long to to edit. <laughs> And I just wish, you know, somebody could else could edit them for me. That's why I just try to do these short ones, but they're probably not as interesting. But um, and I went out and did some welding with my husband today. He wanted me to weld this uh, hanger that, I, that goes over the door and you can hang stuff on. Well, I had a plastic one and I had my quilt hanging on it and it broke, so I asked him to make me a, a metal one. So he told me I could weld it up. And so I went out there and uh, he was showing me how to weld again, because I've welded before, but definitely not very much. So I went out there and welded and I was wearing this shirt. And it's a brand new shirt and I got burn marks on it. So I might have to go get a new shirt. <laughs> But next time I'll, I'll wear a, a leather bib or something. <laughs> so that kind of sucked. But anyway, I'm still working on this uh, Christmas quilt. That is take, uh, the, Tomorrow will be the fifth day I've been long arming it. <laughs> it's just taken a long time. And there's only, there's only six blocks, but they're 24 inch blocks. And so I stitched in the ditch around everything because I'm crazy. And uh, you guys will see it in a video, if I ever get my videos up. I started working on the one uh, this morning, but I didn't get very far. I just haven't really wanted to sit in front of the computer. So that's kind of part of the problem. So, oh, I wanted to show you. Now I finished my, uh, my challenge quilt and so, put the binding on and this is what it looks like <laughs> in the back has kitty cats and so I tried that um, magic binding and that's what it looks like and it, it's kind of fussy it looks really pretty but I had to cut mine different <laughs> the instructions because I like a smaller binding but I also wanted the flange just a little bit bigger so I cut it an eighth of an inch bigger and then I didn't want any stitching over the the back of the binding so I have went through and took out stitches and restitched it where I did accidentally stitch over it like right here so I have those pins in there so I can take it out and I used monofilament thread to stitch it and I couldn't probably do a tutorial I'm sure there's thousands of tutorials I did mine a little little bit different because I made it a different size but besides that it I mean it's pretty much the same it looks it looks pretty on here at the guild meeting today I noticed a lot of people had these this binding I probably won't put it on a, a ton of quilts uh, oh and I washed my hexagon quilt and it turned out so nice it is a lot brighter and it looks so pretty, especially, you know, since it's all crinkled, it, it looks older and vintage. Well, it is vintage, so it looks better. And, uh, oh, one more thing, just stay there. So I have all these uh, embroidery blocks that I use to test um, quilting patterns I made uh, for my embroidery machine. So this one's upside down. So I put four of them together that kind of matched today. So I pieced these blocks and then I put them in my embroidery uh, hoop and I quilted them with the quilting designs that I made. And so they're quilted on front and back. And then I put them together like a quilt as you go and then put the borders on. And so now I just need to stick it on my long arm I'll probably just pin it on the long arm and um, 
quilt the borders and then just bind it and that's all. Yeah, I think it turned out pretty good. I kind of like the orange. Uh, I have quite a few more. I probably have 50 of these things because I always test them different. I don't know. Sometimes I'll sit in front of the, the computer and just draw a bunch of different designs. So I, I did that for a while and that's the result. I haven't even tested all the ones that I've made, so I don't even know what they look like. Anyway, this is getting kind of long, so I'll see you guys later.